It's dark, quiet, and you only hear the footsteps and low murmurs of your safari companions. Suddenly, with little notice, there's a pride of lions behind you. Fortunately, this is the Illuminarium, a massive 30,000 square foot, 360 degree projection room where real moving images from the African plains are projected life size onto towering walls. So the world's first Illuminarium here in Atlanta just opened uh, July 1st. We were sold out uh, all holiday weekend uh, with our wild safari spectacle. Um, the next Illuminarium is going to open in December in Las Vegas and then a couple months later in Miami and then in Chicago and we hope Mexico City after that. It's a unique new attraction that has debuted in Atlanta and is looking to expand to other locations. The combination of large projections of wild, natural surroundings delivered by high-tech means is drawing big crowds already. So the amazing thing about an Illuminarium uh, is the technology and how we use it. So when you walk in to our safari, you see it with your own eyes, just like you'd see it if you were there. You hear it in extraordinary ways through this beam-forming audio that we have. You feel it in your bones through the haptic system in our floor. You smell it in the air through our sense system. A safari guide of sorts gets visitors acquainted in the first room as scenes from Africa are displayed on the high walls. The next much larger room has groups of lions, elephants and flamingos roaming around as visitors gaze upward at seemingly life-sized giraffes walking past. As they trod around the room, they leave simulated animal footprints on the ground all made possible by the advanced projection system in then ceiling. What we do at Illuminarium is we democratize extraordinary experiences. We want to do things people dream about. And I think if I uh, walk down the belt line here and I asked a thousand people, have you been to Africa? Have you been on safari? Probably 98% of them haven't. But if I asked those 98%, would you like to? I'm pretty sure they'd say, that's a dream.